collaborating with a lot of guys canon mm. we're doing couple of your projects what do you mean you're working with canon okay canon bro that's mm. why you skipping over <laughs> that thing why <laughs> because we're shooting with the sony <laughs> change <laughs> no wonder in me natokia <laughs> dak but yes i'm collaborating to them with them so what happened they approached you yes they approached me they're releasing like uh cameras they're releasing uh equipment mm-hmm. so i think i'm best placed because i've used it for a long time and they give me the cameras to test it out uh we do sh- shoots with it and i'm here just i'm like uh shooting with it giving feedback mm. i'm having now cameras which are not yet even released wow wow yes. wow, 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 wow wow even today there's there's one that i have it's not yet released it's being released i think in like 2 or 3 weeks so i get to get them earlier i shoot with it give my feedback on that mm. shoot some short films shoot something with them mm. now i'm collaborating so i'm doing had you done a short film by the time canon approaching you by that time yes by that time now in between you ah. say bro atuna haraka unaambia i can delete yeah okay the timeline come at tenet yes yes you can you can tenet i can tenet this yes so through the new man so to uh, i'm doing a finished a blaze i've gone all around at this particular time you did blaze for how many seasons two years two years about two years yeah good it's like two seasons mm uh i'm i'm very interested in film in doing film film work because i loved movies growing up even up to today mm. so i'm like, i'm trying to look for opportunities to, to shoot a film and uh, i get a call to be part of a workshop uh called the one one fine day mm. workshop mm. and they get a call they're like we're shooting a film i uh, were getting uh guys from germany they're coming down coming to mentor guys but you guys shoot it you guys do it it's your story uh you get a wonderfully written story by Elicarion. Mm. He was a, a, a very good director. So he has a story I get there. I'm chosen as the cinematographer. Mm-hmm. The director of photography. What, what does that mean for somebody who doesn't understand the so, DOP? So director the DOP or the cinematographer. I'm the one who's in charge. Let me let me let me use a layman term. I'm the cameraman. Mm. When you're shooting. shooting. Yes. But now being a DOP I'm able to make choices based on the framing based on the lighting and based on the camera movement which I work hand in hand with the director. Mm. We might decide maybe somebody is walking in this room how we shoot it we follow him maybe handheld mm. or we follow it on a slider mm. or just put it on a tripod and let the guy walk. Okay. So I make decisions based on that and I'll be like no making it on a tripod is too rigid static, yes. rigid. Let's move with him handheld because at this particular time in the movie this guy is thinking a lot maybe something is going to happen so mm. let it, let it feel like we always that's how we see the world okay we're not on a tripod we are yeah, not yeah. on a gimbal <laughs> we are our head is moving we are indians we are indians <laughs> so but a little but bit <laughs> so that's okay you when you're the dop and we'll come we're coming back yes. we're going to come back this from i just want us to take a slight yeah. tangent yeah do you read the script and then now you begin visualizing how you're going to film what has been in the script so now there's this script the script has been bought for a movie you might get it up to that had like i think 70 pages or something of script and 70 or 80 i get the script read it out even before we meet hmm. read it out like even twice so i start creating a world because you're creating a world hmm. in my head i start creating ideas in terms of how maybe i'm this world needs to be very cool hmm. or it needs to be very sickly So you also have to you have, you have to understand something called the color theory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how we use color to drive emotions. Mm-hmm. If you're going to most hospitals, most people don't they're not bright. It's you'll get some of very bright. You get most of the walls. No, that's why if there's a table I'd painted <laughs> the office, the one guy came and they're like, "Mona kuna ka hospitali." Why? because we know when you get to the hospital the wall is either white mm. blue or even maybe light green mm. and it's not done because that's the only colors or the cheaper colors it elicits certain emotions i get it if you have a room which is white if you have a, a room which is blue because it's very cool it mm. cools you down mm. because we're used to anything which is blue like the sea yes. really yeah, yeah. the sky down. we're used to anything red hey, the war. fire fire <laughs> yeah, yeah? 
That's why when you see the red light, go mm. police. Danger, exactly. Danger. Red is danger. Red, mm. go. Green, uh, green, go. Red, stop. Mm. So when I also put red in my film, it will elicit certain emotions. And it's not, it's not even how I light because I can make, see like this lighting, yeah. I can make it red mm -hmm. and still have it very stylistic. Mm -hmm. And it will tell, it will give me a certain emotion, something is going to happen, something bad is going to happen. And it goes even up to the production design. But is the director of photography the one who's telling the lighting people how to light? Yes. Oh, so the director so of photography is cr it's high, eh? It, it is like, after the director, it's the DOP. Eh. Those are the guys who are in charge of like creating the look. Ooh. When I'm talking about the look of a film, mm. and now it's a good thing that I was doing film because the same thing I'll even do it to the music video. And I used to do it, but it's just that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I'm in charge. It's like I'm at the head of department yep. for the look, whatever you see on that screen. Mm. So what are you seeing on that screen? So it's not just a cameraman. Really no, it's not just yeah. pointing. <laughs> yes. So I have to be consistent in, um, we call them lighting ratios. Mm -hmm. uh, your film has to have a lighting ratio. Yeah. So what is a lighting ratio? It's a ratio between the brightest side. Like you see where I'm seated here. Mm -hmm. I think maybe you can see this side is a little bit brighter than this side. Mm, yeah, because true. this side there's no light yep. which is coming from here. Of course there's lighting here. Mm. So there's a ratio. So you can say this side is brighter, two times brighter than this side. Yep. If this side, maybe if it was a, a figure, let's say this side it's brighter at, let's say five. This one is 10. This one is 10. Mm. So it means this side is two times this side. Mm. And so what is that? That's the ratio. So every time I'm shooting a face, I'll still maintain the same ratio where I'll make sure, regardless if it's um, outside, inside, in the dark, what? I'll always make sure this side is two times brighter than this side. To maintain what, consistency. Yes. What do we use? We use something called a light meter where you measure the light, the, the, we call the, we measure the light meter. Wow, wow, wow. It's wow, a light wow, meter wow, where wow. it measures the units, the yes. values. Mm -hmm. And I can measure with the camera, uh, with the setting of the light. So it's not just putting a light. There's a whole science. And there are values. Think we two camera on. Yes. Uh -huh. there's, a, there's a value where we're getting from. And this is something where we'll talk about later. Uh -huh. How, when now I went to get school to, to school to Hollywood to get further. Hollywood was it. Hollywood. School. My bad. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> Look at the school. We'll the, the Hollywood. <laughs> and the Hollywood. Which is, if you can, no problem, we'll get there. But yes. this, so I'm, I'm, I'm fully understanding this thing of, yes. but also what I'm hearing is that, but how are you knowing all this and you're only at, or yeah. this is part of the workshop? So this is part of the workshop. Okay. They're talking to, to us about ratios. Mm -hmm. So of course, not in details, but they're also insisting on the importance of being consistent. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because when I'm shooting a movie, that movie we shot, it's called Supermodo. Yeah. I shot a movie called yes. Supermodo. It, sh it was shortlisted on the Oscars. Mm. I think I can put that on the CV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when oh. you say award winning, we, we, we're talking Oscars. Oscars, <laughs> BT. <-ing. laughs> but anyway, <laughs> nominated. Yeah. Uh, when, when you're shooting a movie like Supermodo, we shot it like for 30 days. Over 30 days. Yes. But when you're watching the movie... You and you were the DOP for this? Yes. I was the head of department. Okay, some of the guys were... Mugash was there. Mugambi was there, part of the writing team. Uh-huh. Yeah. BT? BT was, was not there. He's not there. Okay, was who else there. was there? Uh, there's a, I think that crew had like 200 people. Okay. We, have the, we had our specialists. Our guys, now for me, being the DOP, I also had a mentor from... from it's called, Germany. Yeah, Volker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Volker. From Germany. So I would, I would refer to him maybe if I wanted to do something. I'd be like, at night, what, what, based on experience, what then he'll tell me, maybe at night, do this and this and this. But they'll watch and guide us in terms Ooh. of what you're doing. First, hey, hold on. Let's talk about this. Yeah. This is huge. The it impact is, that one fine day has had on Kenyan film. A lot of people. First and foremost, the ones who had, bef the year before you, or the season before you had yeah. done Nairobi Half-Life. Nairobi Half-Life. That was Tosh. the first one. Yes, that was the first one. That was the first one. With the Tosh Gitonga. So, yes, we touched the yeah. So, now they were doing it again. That time, even Mugash was an actor. Yes. So, now when they're doing it again, uh, this is not the second time. Where this, no, there's another one, then before Supermodo. Oh, so there's this is like the third. This is like the third. And, and before Nairobi Half Life, I think they are done one or two. They, now, there are, there are a couple of them. Okay. And this so is a grant. It is a grant that so they're they, getting. So, basically, they give the money they pr for somebody comes the training. up for, yeah. for the training and also to do the movie yeah so it was being run by ginger inc mm -hmm. so they'll they'll get guys a couple of guys who are interested they'll do a call who, out who's who's ginger inc? ginger inc now it's a production yes yeah, so who, who's the owner uh on that time 
it's called ginger <laughs> oh, ginger ginger, <laughs> ginger ink yeah, <laughs> you know <laughs> this should be stopped in ctnb <laughs> rich rich red rich so they 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 do a call out guys we are doing a movie if you'd love to be part of the uh, the opinion you guys sh- send your show reel then we'll choose who will become the hod then you'll have a mentor mm-hmm. you do your stuff you'll have a mentor they'll help you there was a script writing mentor director's mentor every single department had a mentor mm. and this, these are guys who have worked on big projects so now for you for example you your mentor was that what's that guy's name again volka volka yeah from germany from germany so you're shooting but anytime you come yeah i can ask him you, yeah you can, you can ask is he in the country at this time he's in the country okay They're also on set okay us. so what kind of things would you say that you had learned yeah. from them uh that you were not applying before so now this time i'm also i was doing it but i didn't i didn't know okay we were, we were talking about ratios lighting ratios mm. i knew about it i'll try and and keep it but you're talking about the importance of it mm. why because i'm shooting a movie for 30 days so it has to look as if come if i'm shooting this scene here mm. the way in a movie because there's a lot of dialogue and all that you'll get this house scene we shoot it like in three four days yes there's a particular scene a market scene we shot it in five days but when you see the final edit which is like one and a half minute it seems like it's the same time Ooh. so now it's very important to understand to be very it's called continuity lighting mm. continuity mm. so it's not about just framing and making the shot look beautiful i have to make sure it's at the same level as the one that we shot yesterday yesterday when you're shooting the light was actually on this side mm. to, sun, to sunset today because of logistics we're shooting it at midday yeah. where the sun is there and tomorrow because you want to finish this scene earlier the, the sun is on this side so for wow, you wow, as a dop wow, wow, wow. you make choices now because you have a you have a team i have my gaffer who's in charge of all the electrical and all that i have my grip who's in charge of any stand and all that i have a lighting team mm. and a whole lighting truck mm. so i have to be very consistent in terms of where i place my light If for example yesterday the sun was on this side and today when you're shooting due to this side mm. what do I do I do a flag mm. like a black flag so that this light doesn't get to this actor and I punch light on this side so that it feels and it has to look natural mm. it doesn't look like it is lit yeah so that's what that's those are some of the things wow, I'm, wow, I'm, wow, I'm wow, 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 wow. and I'm like okay it's working so if you see the movie like it's shot at the same day but there's a scene how scene is shot on the first day when they get into the kitchen that was shot on the last mm-hmm. day but you have to the consistency is there it, yeah because now my as a head of department the dop i have to take measurements like it's very scientific like i get here i take measurements of the lights light candles how much it's throwing i try yes i'm not always accurate i yeah. try to get it as close as possible maybe what was hitting me was like at 2.8 mm-hmm. let me just give numbers without going yes. deeper When I'm going to shoot that scene five days later, regardless if it's dull, I'm using red light. I'll try to make sure the value which is hitting me is at 2.8. I get it. I'll try and mm-hmm. get it. Mm-hmm. It will be consistent. By putting covering or adding light, so I can. It's add. all in the lighting game. Yes, I can add. I can check on the camera. I can add. I can take. I take pictures mm. of the different scenes. I get that picture when I'm getting to this set. I try and match it. I match it up either lighting. So all of all of this we're learning, and we do a movie. Supermodel comes out. Does well. Lakini like, utamwambia nini? Unajua anafaa kujua. Kile tu anafaa kujua saa hii anafaa kukwa nyumbani. Sawa? Unadhania ni lake mimi. Yo, hiki kinafaa kwenda kwa mganga. Gang, ume bust ball. Manzi na itaji power zako. Joni ni special. She's a little superhero. She's a little girl. No na tumfanye kitu. Rule number one, siambie mama. Jo, do something. There's no harm in a little pretending. Yeah. Muno taki 
mondo kweli. Mama kenan, ni wewe. What is the mission? To save them all so I can finally fly. It goes to festival, it's doing well. Even eventually got uh, shortlisted mm. for the Oscars. Yeah, when you say it got shortlisted for the Oscars, yeah. it was part of the ones which were consideration for the Oscars. Yes, so now because it was being... It didn't get a nomination, Yes, but it was shortlisted for the nomination. Yes, and uh. to understand how it is, because they get a lot of uh, guys who are interested to, for consideration. Uh, yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Thousands. Thousands. Yes. Then they shortlist this list to almost like 17. Mm -hmm. Then out of the 17, then they further nominate now into the nomination list, let's say like about six yes. or seven. Mm. So for you to get him into 17, they've gone over, yep. over 2,000 yep, yep, films yep. for the international feature. And so for you to get onto the, seven, to, onto the thousands, yeah. you have to have already done a circuit. You have yes. to have done the International Film Festival. Yes. I don't know this, that, other festival. It needs to be first, seen. Guys yes. need to know about it. Yes. It has to get shortlisted yes. into the thousands because yes. it has done rounds yes. across the world. Across the world. Hey, that's and it, when it gets to 17, it gets interesting. Now the ones which are shortlisted, they're taken to the jury. They watch... The Academy. Yes. They, yes. Watch, they watch them and they're like, out of the ones we've watched, the 20, these seven will make it. So in short, it was... Watched by the jury. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> Maybe I'll That's bad do next time. <laughs> but anyway, they saw it. I hope only on a credit. <laughs> so you when you see a movie at the end of it, eh, yeah. you understand what each and every name there is. Each and every single name. Yeah, and you understand the work that has been put in. Yes, even when I go to movies nowadays, mm. me I'm always left there. I watch to the end. That's the most so, important part. So those names are important for a reason. Eh? Yes. As, as ordinary one inches. Uh, yes. we, guys are like, we're waiting for the end credit scene. Yes. <laughs> credit issue. Which but, is a new thing that yeah, we started doing. Yeah, and me, I watch it because I'm like, if I'm watching uh, like Avengers or this latest movie like Batman, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can see a familiar name. Because mm -hmm. now when I, was, when I went to Hollywood for my training, I met a lot of guys who are part of the active uh, Hollywood, word. yes. Yeah. So a couple, once in a while, I see some of them, and I'm always very excited. Nice. So I'm always waiting for them very fast, and I send them. Yeah. And I'm like, just keep keep keeping in contact. Nice. And that's that's that was my first movie that I did. Yeah. Because Super someone Mario. like you, who's the DOP, people don't even know that you're the DOP. Yes. People, in fact, just know that. In fact, even director, it's it's wonderful if people know. Yes. But if I ask who's the director of 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 of, 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 of this this thing of Obambe. Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. Yeah. Not many people may know. Yes. You get what I mean? Yeah. Ati Ubambe. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ubambe. Ibombe. Yeah. But so, so you acting, I mean, you being the DOP for, that must have Spongebob. been huge for you. It's huge because now, uh, even up to today, some people think like, for example, when you're coming from a music video world, it's different. Like you get to the film. You always refer to, it's your music video. <laughs> but it is exactly the same thing. Uh -huh. it's the same ideology that you use here. If you're using color theory, and that's why you get a lot of color theory.